fun I wanna get away But I'm too tired to run I'm gonna find a place Where there are no rules And the world is wild I have the tools To make things happen And the reaction will explode Attention, students, attention. Don't be chicken to enter our excellent costume contest. <sighs> Welcome to the spring dance, matey. Myron, why are you wearing two pirate eye patches? Ha <laughs> ha! So I can be twice the pirate as anyone else. Glug, glug, glug. Refreshing. Arg! So what are you supposed to be, matey? Hey, Myron. Hey, you sound exactly like my friend Dana. Hey, Dana. Let me guess, you're a librarian, right? Uh-uh-uh, a Dewey Decimal Technician. Great spring dance, huh? Yeah, but shouldn't we have the costume party at Halloween instead? Halloween? But that's when we celebrate the arrival of spring. Yeah, Todd, don't you know anything? <sighs> now I'm ready for the costume party. Are you supposed to be a car dashboard? Yes. And the best part is, I've got driver's side airbags to protect myself from any sudden impacts. What kind of sudden impacts? Ahem. Hi, Todd. Ah, oh, Sammy, we chaperones. That mean we watch funny looking kids. Come back, Todd. Why are you always bouncing away from me? Ah, so happy, these babushkins. It reminds Miss Mush of old times in swinging gulag with hairy Cossack boys. I go disco every night. Oh, Miss Mush, she hot like boiled pierogi back then. Oh, -hoo. Sammy, you need mingle more. Go knock him dead on dance floor, no? Oh, I forget. You already dead. No worry. You just need good costume. I fix you up. Want to dance, Todd? Ugh. Please, 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 please. No, Mauricia. I just got bounced halfway across the school. I need a break. What? You want to break up with me? Huh? No, no, that's not what I said. And besides, we can't break up because we're not even going out. But, but, <laughs> Mauricia, are you okay? I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. My feelings, Todd? Step away from the vehicle. I repeat, step away from the vehicle. Here, aren't you? Oh, I see you meet tall, quiet stranger. He shake your hand now. Pleased to meet you. My name's Mauricia. I'm a princess. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, ho, ho. he say you sweet as boiled pierogi. Really? What's he look like? What? 
Oh, oh, he very shy. Uh, they all like that at school for extra rich and handsome -y. Ooh, I've always had a thing for the strong, silent, handsome-y type. Did you hear that, John? Uh, Mr. Handsome-y need to powder a faceplate. Give me right back. See, you already made friend with Ponyheaded Princess, right, Sammy? Costume, good idea, no? Ha ha ha! Look, Maricia, I'm sorry about what I said before. I do like you. Talk to the hand, Todd. I've just met me a mystery man. Wow. What a hunk. He's so dreamy. <sighs> Step aside, girls. Mystery man's mine. He's way cooler than Todd. Come on, Prince Charming, shake a leg. You've got some charming to do. Wait, Miss Marsh, help with dance? Whoa, whoa! Wow, that guy can dance. Wish I had his move. Something's not right here. Oh, should I do it more like this? I think I better get a closer look at this mystery guy. Attention, students, attention. It's time to announce this year's best costume winners. I voted for you, Mr. Kidswater. I love that chicken costume. Thank you, little double pirate boy. But it's not a chicken outfit. I'm actually a mighty eagle. King of the sky. Huh? <laughs> That's, um, an eagle leg, by the way, comes with the chicken costume. I mean the eagle. I, I mean... Whatever. As I was saying, votes are in for King and Queen of the Spring Dance. The best girl costume is that roller skating princess person. Best boy, knight in shining armor. Sammy, you win! I mean, uh, mystery boy say... Thank you, ladies. to put the brakes on this mystery boy. Delivery in the kitchen for Miss Mush. Delivery? Maybe industrial cement mixer to make lunchtime special. <laughs> Look, buddy, I don't know what's going on here, but Mauricia's my girlfriend. I mean, my friend who happens to be a girl. My friend girl. That silent treatment won't work with me, pal. Something smells rotten, and I think it's you. Hello? Anyone home? Sammy? Mauricia fell for a dead rat? <sighs> She'll be heartbroken when she finds out. I can't let that happen. Attention, students, attention. Time for the king and queen to come up for their very special dance. So, let's get this over with. Now stop that already! Mm. Remember, I'm not a chicken. I am an eagle! Okay. Hurry, Sammy! You miss slow dance with pony-headed girl! Oh, Sammy, you so popular. You turn Miss Mush heart to goulash. Whoa! Sammy, how you move like that? You dead. Oh, mystery kid. Please, 
Let me see your beautiful mystery face. <gasps> no! Sammy! Todd? 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 344 South Fairview? Todd, where do you put Sammy? We exchanged costumes. I just couldn't let Mauricia see her new love was a dead rat. It would break her heart. Oh, why you not say so? You in love with pony-headed princess! Yay! Oh, well, I don't know about that. I mean, come on, me in love? What's that, Todd? You're in love with me? Oh, Todd, I knew it was you in that costume all along. Wait, no, 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 I... Oh, Todd. Yay! Sammy, 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 Sammy you make Sammy, even more Sammy, friends. Sammy, Sammy. Miss Mush, she alone. Even dead rat have good time. <laughs> I don't suppose you'd be interested in a quick dance. Oh, okay, kids, Vatsky. I show you how we scramble eggs in the old country. Lunch already? Get! Eat! Mushroom surprise! Oh, come now, children. <laughs> Miss Mush's food isn't that bad. Then why don't you ever eat it? Me? Oh, uh, I, uh, uh, oh, uh, lunch time! Hmm, something's fishy around here. Yeah, fishy with chips. What? I'm hungry. Lounge. We're not allowed in there. Yeah, but do you smell that? <laughs> you certainly took your sweet time. Now, Ali! Ooh la la, le chef! Everything looks so magnifique! Well, of course it does. Plate. I am so glad the faculty lounge has its own French chef! I was wondering if I could have some... Next! <laughs> that why they no eat in lunchroom. Okay, kiddies, let's go. Time for lunch. Mm. What that sound? It sounded like moan of pain. No, Miss Mush. That's a moan of pure yummy, tummy satisfaction. Really? I never hear such moan. So delicate, yet bold. These flavors swirl and tumble. They fill me with delight. It's like tasting heaven with each and every bite. Yep, that about sums it up. What? My food is swirly tumble too, no? Of course, Miss Mush, your food is deep. I mean, <clears throat> your food is absolutely fan. Sorry, your food is really, really, really. Okay, I see. You like morning food better? Fine, eat it. I quit. <laughs> who was that? <gasps> Wait, who are you? Ooh la la! 
Now that Mr. Kidswater has made me the head chef of the Wayside School, I will teach these stinky face brats what it is to be a culinary genius. Mm -hmm. What is your problem? One lunch special, please. Le Chef, what exactly is this? What is this? This is a vision of a whisper. The sound of the rainbow. The taste of a dream. This is paradise! I thought paradise would be bigger. What? You sticky little boy who has no taste! I curve my nose up at you in your lunch face of a silly person! Go! Sorte, sorte, sorte! And for the rest of you, from now on you must stand on one leg and beg for my food! Say, please, please feed my stinky face, le chef! Please, please feed my stinking face, le chef! Oh, what a charming man! <laughs> Thank you, Garçon. Now let's dig in. Please, please feed my stinky face. Oh, it looks so wonderful, so delicious. Hey, Le Chef, I'll have one soup of the day. Regardez, la soup du jour. That's it? Hey, is there any chance I can get some crackers to go with that? <laughs> Sortez, sortez, sortez! No, but I'm hungry! Sortez, sortez, sortez! But you broke the rules! Sortez! This is ridiculous. We need Miss Mush back. Miss Mush quit the cafeteria, but she didn't go far. I just saw her hang the sign here. www.missmush.mush Kids! It's so good now I see you! Except you pickle-stabbing, pony-headed, rhymey rhyme girl. Whoa, what's with all the computers? I started mail-order internet food business. I mail food to happy peoples all over the world. Thanks, Miss Mush. Your liverwurst smoothies are the best flame retardant our fire department has ever seen. Miss Mush? Does it bother you that no one is actually eating your food? Yes, but I make millions of money. Business so good, I even hire an assistant. Sammy! Pick up phone! Pick up phone! Pick up phone! He good assistant, but he dead. So, what Miss Mush do for you? Miss Mush, we need you back in the cafeteria now. You hungry? Why you not say so? Miss Mush feed you. We sneak into cafeteria and I make you peanut butter and octopus sandwich. Yes? No! Oh, what, what happened to Miss Mush kitchen? Where pots and pans and squishy thing? Cold fridge? Cooking on stove? Water from pipe? What's this? Sacre bleu! This is my kitchen now! And this thing you call food, I say ha! Ha ha! I say ha to your food! Ha! 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 Whoa, whoa! Can't we just settle this like peaceful adults? We! Oui, we shall have a duel! Actually, I was thinking of something along the lines of a cooking contest. Mais oui! A cooking contest. Winner stays, the loser, she go bon voyage. Okie dokie. We just need a food judge. Mauricia, this is your chance. Yeah. Maybe if I play it just right, we can get Miss Mush back. Let the cook-off begin! Remember, Miss Mush's food tastes great. It tastes great. Okay, our judge will taste two meals and choose Le Chef. <laughs> I mean, a winner. First up, the winner! I mean, Le Chef! Uh -huh. On, Mauricia, just wipe that smile off your face. 
<clears throat> Not bad, but I've been served by better. You have? You're kidding me. Wow. Uh, all right, bring on that other, um, stuff. <laughs> Come on, Maricia. Don't choke now. Mm -hmm. Delicious! She said delicious. We have a winner. No, not good enough. I want rhymey rhyme from pickle stabbing pony head, like she make for Frenchy fry cook. Or I go back and make millions of money on internet. Did you say millions? Come on, Mauricia, you can do it. But I've never rhymed anything in my life until I ate Le Chef's first meal. It was just so inspiring. Mm, mm, mm. That Le Chef can cook. But he's a very mean man. On the other hand, Miss Mush can't cook at all. But she's the best cook ever. You know what I mean. Exactly. There's more to lunchtime than good lunch. <clears throat> I think that I shall never face. A pile of mush with such a taste. It's got flavor, that's for certain. And my belly, it's a hurtin'. Yet yumminess is overrated. Sometimes the best food's created by one who knows not cooking art, but makes her food with lots of heart. You right, Miss Mush always cook with heart and liver, and other squishy bits. Okay, I come back, cook for you kids. Yay! What? Don't worry, I give you internet business. Okay, Le Chef, you're fired. You stinky face, you imbecile! Crazy people, get your stinking feathers off of me! Crazy, crazy people! Sing the last time to Mouton! Okay, I'm the boss now. Answer the phone. The phone. The phone. Phone. Phone phony. Phone. Attention, students, attention. Why is Principal Kid Swatter crying on the PA? Again? Oh, he does this every year on La Boca Loca Day. <laughs> yes, Todd. Mr. Kidswater used to be a very famous Toreador. El Kid almost won Bullfighting's highest prize. The Golden Tail. He just needed to beat one more bull. La Boca Loca. The Crazy Mouth. Toro, Toro, Toro. Attention crowd. Attention. Yes, I am the best. And that was the start of... La Boca Loca Day. And the end of El Kid's bullfighting career. He never did get over it. Do commemorate this solemn day. Just do whatever you want. I'm too depressed to care. <laughs> oh, children, this is so very sad. Yeah, but isn't there something we can do to help? Yes, there is, Todd. You can bring these make-me-happy flowers to Mr. Kidswater while we all cheer ourselves up at recess! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kidswater, we all thought some flowers would help cheer you up. No, no roses. They remind me too much of... La Boca Loca. <laughs> Put him in the basement with the others. <laughs>
That's that. Ow! Ooh, the wishing well talks. Wishing well? Hey, free money. Oh, please, wishing well. Please grant me my wish. I just wish someone else in this school would dress up for Halloween like me. Steven, what are you doing? Wow, nice bucket head costume, Todd. Oh, thank you, Wishing Well. Thank you. Hey, that well really works. Let me try. Oh, Wishing Well, I wish I could fly. <gasps> I flew, I flew. Thanks, Wishing Well. Catch, Eric! Here we go again. I'll get it, guys. We wish we had our bow back. Yay! Thank, Thank you, Wishing, wishing well. well. Oh, Wishing Well, I love rules. I wish there were more rules around here. Ow! Hey, don't throw so hard. <gasps> A new rule! I won't throw so hard. Thanks, Wishing Well. <sighs> yeah! I wish I was smarter. I wish I had a new bike. I wish for more wishes. Whoa! Props! Where are you? Todd, have you seen the props for the school play? I've been looking everywhere. Props? How'd you lose them? I have no idea. Hey, Myron, dude. When you're done putting away those props, there are some costumes to put away as well. Okay, Lewis. Hey, howdy, handsome. Looking pretty sharp, Myron. Why, thank you, Myron. Props? Where are you? Yoo-hoo! Come back, props! Myron, don't you see? That wishing well is made out of your stage props. What? There's a wishing well? Wow! I should make a wish to find my props! Oh, brother. <laughs> shoo, little people, shoo, shoo! Attention, wishing well, attention! I only have one minor simple wish. Uh-oh, this can't be good. I want a rematch with La Boca Loca. Who's Kids Water talking to? I'm talking to you, Wishing Well. And you'd better make my wish come true. Or I'll make every day La Boca Loca Day. <laughs> oh no! We can't have Principal Kids Water crying all the time. Don't worry, Myron. We won't let that happen. We've just got to make his wish come true. But how are we going to do that? That's it! Myron, you're brilliant! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, I think so. Ole! Ole! Toro, Toro, Toro! <laughs> You win again, my frothy-faced bow. I guess it'll be La Boca Loca Day forever. <laughs> oh, no. It's terrible. Help, help. Who will save all of the senoritas? What will we ever do? Who could be brave enough to save us from that rampaging bull in the schoolyard? Rampaging bull? For the record, Todd, this wasn't what I was thinking before. I just hope Kid Swatter believes we're that crazy mouth bull. Hmm. La Boca's got a lot more zippers than I remember. 
but there's no mistaking that crazy mouth sound. Ole! Ole! Ah, my wish! It has come true! Toto, Toto, Toto! Okay, Myron, let's make this look good. I'm way ahead of you, Todd. Oh, yeah, looking good. <sighs> Come on, let's go. Whoa! Would you move it? What? What? No, 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 right, right, right. Whoa! <laughs> Todd, do I have to be the end? Aha! I see my Toreador skills have weakened you, but the fight's not over until just one of us is left standing. So, Toro, Toro, Toro! Ole! Go, 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 go! Todd, I can't see! Where are we going? Yay! Iron, stop pushing so hard! Whoa! Ow! Come on, let's go! Myron! Hurry up! Ole! Right behind you, Todd! Ole! Myron, what are you doing? Myron, get back here! Huh? Whoa! What? Can this be? Mr. Kidswater, we can explain. No, I understand now. You, you do? do? Yes. For years, I've been haunted by my loss to La Boca Loca. But now I realize La Boca wasn't even a bull. Huh? Look at this. He was just some cheap costume. <laughs> All this time, I've been worrying about some fake bull. <laughs> Olé! I'm free! La Boca Loca Day is now the happiest day of the year! Yay! <laughs> Wait a hooey. If La Boca was only a costume, then who was inside of it all those years ago? I must go now and find the imposters! La Boca Loca! Was a fake? At least that wishing well is real. Myron, this is not a wishing well. It's a fake, just like the bull. It's your stage props all piled up. Hey, my stage props. I found them. Wow, that wishing well just made my wish come true too. Myron. Todd, you're not in your Halloween costume anymore. That fake well failed me. That, that wishing, wishing well was, was fake? fake? What about our money? We, we want a refund. refund! A refund? Now that's a wish I can grant you all. Yay! Ole! Yay! Yay! Hey, Dana. Everything all right? <sighs> yeah, just a little tired. Every day I get here at dawn to organize the class, list all the rules, put the boxes inside the boxes. Hey, Dana, have you seen my box? Yeah, it's inside the box. Oh, goody. Thanks. Have you actually 
traveled to all those places on your bike? Yep. I've been everywhere, man. I've been to every floor of Wayside, except the 19th. But they say the 19th floor doesn't even exist. Uh-huh. The only one I've missed. Ooh, I wish I had your sense of adventure and freedom. I'm like a box inside a box inside a box. I spent all day organizing stuff. Not like you. You're so well-rounded. Your helmet's round. Your wheels are round. You go around the world. I've never even seen all of Wayside. Time to bust out of Boxville? Want to borrow my ride? Really? I can take your bike? Best kind of freedom is the kind you share. Ride like the wind, Sister D. <laughs> Ah, 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 Dana. You need a hall pass for all 30 floors to ride like the wind and taste the sweet broth of freedom. Okay, can I get a 30-floor hall pass? Sure. Last time I checked, they were somewhere inside those boxes. Uh-oh. <sighs> Take mine, Sister D. Now go, and don't look back. fun to see the whole world. Or at least every floor of Wayside. Okay, class. Everyone take out a pencil and... Jules, where are our pencils? Huh? Well, uh, in the pencil thingy. No, oh, I don't know. Dana usually hands them out. Dana's not here. What do we do? Not to worry. As your sometime class president, I can handle this. Uh, here. That's not a pencil. It's a fish! on a wayside road trip, including the 19th floor. Oh, ho, ho. 19th floor, huh? I got just a thing for you. Hey, Sammy, I, I took a skunk, two center light bovines, gag it and bang it! Here you go, a little surprise to tide you over. Has anyone seen my assignment? Not me. Where's my Fluffy? I can't read my fish's handwriting. <laughs> Wait! Come back! You need to help me with my mathematics! Okay, class. Time to hand in your assignment to Dana. Oh, uh, uh I mean to, to, uh... Don't worry. I've got it, Mrs. Jules. <laughs> Anything else? What do you want? What, 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 what do you want? Mm. Mm. This is Jules. Mm. Maybe it's time we find Dana. Nonsense. I've got it completely under control. Where's Dana? My head is stuck. I can't see. Really? Maybe we just need more light in here. Careful, Myron! Dana's the only one who ever touches those drapes. Pshaw! What could go wrong? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll just close the window. It's okay. A little rain never hurt anyone. Woo! Now I know we're safe. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. Ah, see? 
brain's ending, lightning too, everything will be just fine. At least the worst is over. Uh, maybe we should find Dana. She's not under here. Ah, I needed this break. I've never felt so free. It's like I'm almost out of that box. And I can finally breathe again. <gasps> Hello, Dana. What a coincidence. We were just talking about you in class. Really? You were? What were you saying? Help! Help! Please, please come back to class, Dana, before things get completely out of control. I'm like a box inside a box inside a box! No way! That's the old stuck in a box, Dana. See? I told you. I'm not done seeing the world. Or at least all 30 floors of Wayside. I still have the 19th to go. Well, that's that. I'm just going to go upstairs and finish organizing Mrs. Jewel's class. Organize the class? We gotta get Dana back. And I know just the sister to do it. My math! My mathematics! Now for the last floor. I've never seen 19! Okay, okay, I can do this. I've gotta finish my journey and bust out of my box for good. Hold on there, Sister D. There's a good reason I've never seen the 19th floor, you know. Legend says that's where the door to Miss Zarves' class was supposed to go. Miss Zarves? Uh-huh. A few years back, this kid, Nick, wanted to find out what's up there. <laughs> he was a bit of a daredevil, too. Aimed himself right at that door area. So did he find the 19th floor? No, of course not. He just broke his arm. Oh. But the weird thing is... Miss Zarv signed his cast! Creepy! <gasps> Look, Sister D! Whoa! Miss Zarves! Woohoo! We did it! Oh yeah! 19th floor! And back again! High five, sister! Run on! <laughs> <laughs> Dana? Yeah, Sister J? Can I have my bag back now? Oh yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> hey guys! I've just seen all of Wayside! The Wayside tour is complete! Not quite, Dana. There's still one more stop you gotta make. Right, Myron? Oh. Dana, could you please come up to the 30th floor and fix the horrible mess that is all my fault? No problemo, Brother M. Sounds like a crazy adventure. Wee! Rad! Thank you, Mr. Birdie! Dana, we are so glad to have you back. Yeah! 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 Okay, back to our lesson. What's 4,615,320 times 6,493,121 divided by 4,036 minus 923,000 plus 5,300? Okay, back to our lesson. So, class, always remember we can calculate the circumference of the Earth by using pi r squared. Come on. Come on. Okay, class, time for pizza! all the time.
time, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what took you guys so long? What's the rush, Mauricia? I'm not in a rush. I just like to be first. Line up for sports gear. <laughs> Yay! I'm first for soccer. Thanks. <laughs> I'm first for baseball. Thanks. Awesome. I'm first for... Whatever. Whoa. Better get extra gear. I'm first for extra gear! Mauricia, what do you need all that stuff for? You don't even like some of these sports. So? Even if I don't like them, I still want to be first in line to play them. Hey! I'm first! <laughs> Whoa! I think I drank it all! Uh-oh. Coming through! I'm first! Um, Mauricia, this is the boys' bathroom. You can't go in there. That's okay. I didn't have to go. I just wanted to be first! Oh, yeah? Uh, hey! Wait your turn! <laughs> My favorite part of the day. Just me and my donut. Ah. What? Ah! Go! Die, 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 die. Hey, Mr. K, did you check out those new wheels I put on your podium yet? Wheels? This is ridiculous! Who cares if you're first in line for the boys' bathroom? Ha! Spoken like a true second placer! You just don't understand. Oh, I'll beat you all to class! <laughs> Stupid wheels! Hate him even more than Goose X. Ah! Mr. K, are you all right? Your band, all of you. The students? No, these round things. Mr. Kitswater, no! Your band, you two, and your band too. Get lost. Whoa, Mr. K, are you banning wheels from Wayside? No, Lewis, I'm going even further. I'm banning anything that's round. I mean, round. All done. Are you sure about this, Lewis? Mr. K's new rule, can't have anything round. Now everything is so fair and square. Lunch time! Yeah! <sighs> hey, shouldn't we wait for Mauricia? Don't worry, Todd. She's fast. She'll catch up. Besides, she never waits for us. Huh. I guess you're right. <gasps> <gasps> Hold on, guys. I'm coming. Guys? Ah, nothing like eating three square meals a day. <sighs> Mauricia. Where have you been? Square. Despair. Going nowhere. <sighs> Come on, Mauricia. Time for class. Be right.
right there. Um, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm coming. Just gotta work up some momentum here. <laughs> Ugh. Maybe you should go on ahead. I'll catch up. I always do. Yay! I got it! Hooray! Hmm, this stuff doesn't work too well. But at least we get to play with it. Sorry, Mauricia. All up. Need some company? Thanks, Todd. I always knew you were slow. Oh, uh, I mean, nice. Thanks. And I'm not that slow. Yes, you are. Just look at you. Mauricia, who cares who's slower, fast, or first, or last? I do! I do! I do! I do! Now just watch as I beat you to the top! Time for my daily hula hooping. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, hmm. Even my yo-yo is better. I love squares. Ah, at least I can still enjoy my favorite part of the day, donut time. Donut? I'm first! I'm first! Or am I last again? Oh, look who just beat me up the stairs! You don't have to do that, Todd. Did I give you too much of a head start? No, it's not that. But you're first. Be happy. But I can't. Sitting here all by myself, it seems whether you're first or last isn't as important as being with your friends. Happy donut time ruined? <laughs> no! I've got to round things up around here. Round it up. 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 Not you. Gotta admit, it's kind of nice to actually spend time with your friends instead of always trying to beat them. Especially your special friends. No need to make that fist square. Round it up. And those wheels, too! It's great to have my wheels back! Race it to the schoolyard! Wait a minute. Hey! You guys coming or what? Mauricia, you waited for us? Why wouldn't I? Because now you won't be first. Ah! No sense rushing everywhere if you just end up getting there alone. I mean, duh. Why don't we all be first together? Yay! Oh, isn't that sweet? Totally. 
Those kids are awesome. Who? I don't know what you're blathering about, Lewis. All I care about is my sweet donut. Ah. Round it up. 